Okay, all eyes are on Alice Springs at the moment as the town's alcohol-fueled youth violence issue is spiralling out of control. A police blitz launched on Thursday is seem had seemingly very little impact and there's a mix of opinions on what needs to be done to tackle the issues from reinstating alcohol bans to bringing in the military. Well, joining me now from Alice Springs is our Northern Australia correspondent, Matt Cunningham. Matt, thanks for joining me. Give us an idea of just how bad the situation has become in Alice Springs. Well, I'll tell you the one thing that really struck me when I arrived here this morning, uh, Corey, and that is the number of businesses in the Alice Springs CBD that are completely shuttered up. I was here uh, with my kids about two and a half years ago. We were eating ice cream in the Todd Mall, at the corner of the Todd Mall. Uh, that building is completely boarded up. Where there are no boards, there are smashed windows. And that's not an isolated situation. If you walk down the Todd Mall, right in the middle of Alice Springs, uh, a place that... Uh, even three or four years ago was a vibrant tourist strip pretty much every shop there was only about two or three that were not completely shuttered up so I think that gives you uh, an indication of the issues that they're dealing with uh, here in Alice Springs now you would also have seen the front page of the Australian newspaper today this is something we've all also filmed several times when we've been in Alice Springs the number of kids walking around in Alice Springs uh, late at night and some of those kids as young as five uh, and six years old with no parent parental supervision whatsoever. So uh, it really is a serious situation here. I know there have been calls for the Australian Federal Police or the Australian Defence Force to come in. There are calls now for Anthony Albanese to visit Alice Springs uh, as soon as possible. There's no doubt that this town uh, is really dealing with some serious issues, uh, Corey. Uh, some of those issues are no doubt related to alcohol. And one of the things that people are focusing on at the moment uh, is the decision to allow alcohol to return to some of those smaller uh, Indigenous communities and the town camps in Alice Springs and the effect that that's having. Well, that decision, of course, was overturned uh, in a July of last year, I understand, after 15 years of restrictions imposed by the intervention of the Howard government under Minister Mal Bruff. What are the solutions on the table here? Do they want to return to that sort of intervention or is there something else that they want to, uh, to fix it? Well, a lot of people are saying that is the quickest and simplest uh, immediate fix to this problem. Kieran Gilbert here on Sky News uh, today interviewed Dr John Boffa. He's been a GP here uh, in Alice Springs for more than 20 years. Uh, he's been a, a staunch campaigner for tougher alcohol restrictions. Uh, but he was horrified last July when those alcohol bans were lifted. Now, now he's no conservative. Uh, I know a lot of conservatives have also been uh, saying that those bans should never have been lifted. And uh, they're right. But there are people on the other side of politics as well who say that that was really the worst thing you could possibly do. We've heard Marion Scrimger, uh, the Labor MP uh, for Lingiari, which takes in uh, the town of Alice Springs, also uh, say that those alcohol bans need to be put back in place as quickly as possible. People on the ground here, Corey, are saying there's been absolute carnage, that it's been catastrophic since those bans were lifted on the 17th of July last year. But the Northern Territory government has been steadfast. It says it won't be changing its decision. It says that those uh, alcohol bans were a race-based policy uh, and that it's not going to change its mind on this issue. Well, then, it's up to the federal government, based on that information... And the Prime Minister needs to get a first-hand look on it. There's calls for him to visit Alice Springs. Is it likely to happen? And is there going to be any benefit when, you know, you think the whole thing would be sanitised ahead of his visit? The police would have an increased presence in order to not expose him to the true horrors of what's going on there. Yeah, well, this all feels a little bit like Groundhog to me, Groundhog Day to me, Corey. I've got to say, if you, if you turn the clock back five years to when a two-year-old girl was raped uh, in Tennant Creek, 500 kilometres north of Alice Springs here, and there was some national outcry uh, for a short period of time and a lot of pressure put on Malcolm Turnbull, who was the Prime Minister of the day, to, to visit Tennant Creek and see the issues for himself. Well, eventually uh, he agreed to come to Tennant Creek, but I tell you what, I've never seen Tennant Creek look as clean and as tidy and as sanitised as it did uh, for the 24 hours that Malcolm Turnbull was there uh, back in 2018. So, I mean, if Al Anthony Albanese is going to come to Alice Springs, perhaps it'd be better if he didn't let anyone know he was coming uh, and he just showed up on a Thursday and Friday night and then he might get a, a good look 
at things for himself. And I think one of the things that would be most confronting to anyone who arrives in Tennant Creek or in Alice Springs uh, is to see those kids wandering the streets at night. This isn't just a crime crisis, Corey. This is a child protection crisis as well. We heard Jacinta Price today say that those children, uh, if there are kids that age who are wandering the streets at night without par parental supervision, then they should be removed uh, from their families. Now, that is a controversial view, uh, but it's certainly her view, and it's a view a lot of, a lot of people here uh, in Alice Springs would probably support. Yeah, Matt Cunningham, this is a big issue and hopefully it won't go away from the public eye until it's fixed. Appreciate your work. Keep it up on uh, the ground there in Alice Springs.